Patty, we're here at the at the Bug Shack, and this is Mercedes Garage. So Absolutely, it tell, is. What was your inspiration for choosing this location? Well, uh, for many many years, we took our our all our VWs over here when uh, it was Buckner's VW Parts Exchange, and uh, and. Uh, had Buck and his crew fix our cars and sometimes when we didn't have money to get our cars fixed then they would tell us how to fix our cars and sell us parts at their cost which was really awesome yeah. of them. Yeah so so when I decided to make Mercedes a VW mechanic I took her over here to Buck's and uh, and uh, uh, talked to him and, and told him I was going to use his uh, his shop and and use him because he is he is the prototype of Z my uh, uh, Mercy's um, mentor in mechanic in the mechanic sense and I told him that I was going to do that and he was just thrilled uh, he actually passed away before the book came out uh, he had lung cancer um, but he was pretty excited about it so it was fun and uh, you know this is just a very typical for a small uh, old car uh, mechanic the kind of mechanics that they don't have anymore because our new cars are, are, are pretty much um, you know just you parts you, you parts exchange whereas the old mechanics had to make their own parts and 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 you know know a lot more about how cars work and why they work the way they do so this is this is why I chose this place does anybody know the location or do you kind of keep it secret or does anyone even really care oh, oh I get a lot of I get all especially in the Tri-Cities when I get emails from Tri-Cityans and I have a lot of people who ask me and you know I'm I was a little vague on it for a while and I thought well they probably don't mind since they are a VW shop and Mercy is not a it's not a a, a bad VW mechanic either so they probably don't mind and indeed talking to Mike and his crew afterwards I don't think they do at all okay I kind of uh, pictured it being a little bit more urban just because I think in some of the scenes there are nearby businesses, but we're actually kind of in a residential area. Here. Right, we are, and I do have the shop. I, I do have the shop. Um, I have it next to an, to a residential area, but I turned all of the place right across the street into a like a. a um, Oh, what do you call that? Uh, storage facility, you know, where you go in and you rent storage lockers and that kind of thing. Uh, mostly just because uh, it worked better for a couple of the scenes in the early books. And I figured that all of the noises and loud things that are going on, it's uh, if we have houses right next to it, we're going to have people come out and they're going to get hurt, and that would be a problem. So, How much time does uh, Mercy spend at the shop in the new book? Oh, in the new book, actually not at all in the new book. In River Marked, uh, River Marked uh, takes, starts out in the Tri-Cities and then it moves, oh, I don't know, 50, 60 miles down, down, down the way, down the Columbia River to uh, Mary's Hill. And most of the action takes place in Mary's Hill and then comes back to the Tri-Cities for the finish up. Okay. All right. Anything else to add about this location? Oh, this is, you know, we spent many, many wonderful hours here and some not so wonderful hours and, and uh, uh, it's, it's kind of near and dear to our hearts because if we had not had Buck here to help us out, uh, we would have been walking an awful lot of miles early on. Okay. Patricia, thanks very much. Thank you.